primary cause of most mishaps is the lack of attentiveness uh, to the electrical environment in which we're working. Uh, we get in a hurry to get things done, we're moving and working with larger equipment or equipment we're unfamiliar with, and therefore we sometimes overlook or the electrical uh, hazards. If a person comes in contact with an energized wire, uh, they become uh, part of the pathway to ground. So it's very important that you do not touch that person until you are sure the power is off. First thing you need to do is try to get the power off before you try to help the victim. So whatever that takes, shutting the breaker off, the farm off, you go, you get that shut off, you call 911 to get emergency help on the way, help the victim then become comfortable. If they're not breathing, you administer CPR. Uh, if they're going into shock, you look at loosening up their clothing, keeping them comfortable, warm, until help arrives. And so if there's a fire, you wanna turn the power off, you wanna call 911, and then you wanna use a basic uh, fire extinguisher that's uh, designed or built or made to, uh, to, to fight many different types of fires. If you're in, that, in a vehicle or in a tractor, is where you have become entangled, stay in that vehicle. Do not try to exit, as that vehicle may be energized, and when you touch that vehicle and the ground at the same time, current can pass through you and an electric shock can occur. So, you stay in the vehicle, call for help. If people are coming to, towards you, you tell them to stay away from the vehicle, not to touch it, call the power company, call 911. Um, if, if there is the chance, and sometimes this happens with our combines and the dust and things that are there, because of the danger of fire, it's very important that you jump uh, clear of that vehicle, try to land on both feet, and then just shuffle away. There can be current then going into the ground and creating some voltage differences around that vehicle. So that entanglement is another thing that can often lead to or cause additional accidents. But if we stay in the vehicle, in most cases, we're like that bird on the wire. We're not touching the wire that's energized and the ground at the same time, and we can stay safe. Well, there's three things that I emphasize to folks on, on how to prevent uh, accidents from occurring uh, in the electrical arena of their farm. Uh, I summarize it by look up for overhead power lines, look down for underground power lines, and then look around for damaged or malfunctioning equipment. Uh, looking up, most of our power lines are still overhead. Uh, whenever you're moving tall equipment uh, and it's getting larger nowadays, you got to look up and look around. You also need to know how to shut the power off. Very important for lines uh, on our farms. Looking down, more and more lines are being put underground as a safety feature. So we don't have entanglements with overhead lines, but when we go to dig or do construction around our farm, we need to pay attention where they, those underground lines are. And one of the ways we identify them is by calling 811. It's just a national number which uh, brings in locators, professional locators, which will locate and mark those underground lines. Look around is just a general thing that I observe in working with farm customers in the Midwest. I see a lot of damaged electrical equipment that hasn't been fixed. I encourage you to look around, see where that is, get it fixed rather than leaving it in the state in which it was damaged because that can lead to electrocution hazards in an increased way uh, because of the damage that's occurred. The main thing that we have to do uh, realize is that we need to treat every wire as if it was energized. So if a wire is hanging low, if it's fallen on the ground, you may not be able to tell that that power line is energized just by looking at it. And so I wanted to just really emphasize that point is that we need to treat all wires as if they're energized and that they could harm you and never take it for granted. Make sure the power is off or make sure you know where or how to turn the power off to your farmstead before you work on any of it or call your utility company if there's any question about that and have them work on the wires rather than approaching it ourselves.